Okay, today I'm going to talk about sculling, which is a drill that you can use to improve your arm position for the catch and the pull. Um, you're going to need a pull buoy, which you're going to put between your legs so there'll be no kicking. I would recommend using the snorkel as well um, so that you can actually have your face in the water and look at your arm position because this drill is all about the correct arm position. And what that arm position is, is with the fingers lower than the wrist, which is lower than the elbow, which is slightly lower than the shoulder. So sculling is, is where you just move your um, hands in the water so that the drill is going to look like this, where you're moving both arms. Palms turn in, palms turn out, palms turn in, palms turn out. There's not a lot of ab and adduction of the shoulder joint, so your arms aren't coming way in and then way out. It's mostly wrist um, rotation of the forearm and the wrist. It's not a lot of arm in and arm out. Wrist in, wrist out. Palms in, palms out. The fingers stay lower than the wrist, which stay lower than the elbow, which stay lower than the shoulder. You get on your belly and you do this with the pole buoy between your legs. Snorkel on again so your face can be in the water and you can actually see your arm position. If you're doing this correctly, you will move down the pool with hardly any effort. No kicking required, you're just going to propel yourself with that sculling action. If you do it incorrectly, meaning when the palms, uh, fingertips come up, you can actually move backwards, and I'll demonstrate both of those. Now I'm going to show a variation which a lot of people would probably do in their strokes. You might have you might have the fingertips pointing down at some point in the stroke and then they lift up. So it looks a little bit different. I won't go back. Try again. 